Thank you. Are you ready? Okay. Good evening and greetings of peace upon all of you this evening. I'm proud to be here tonight on this auspicious occasion of the swearing in of Mayor Beverly Jones and the newly elected and re-elected city council members, Freeman, Bryant, and Pro. Congratulations. Muslims around the world and in the city of Stone Mountain draw great inspiration from a verse in the Quran from the fifth chapter, verse eight, that says, be steadfast in your devotion to God, bearing witness to the truth in all equity and never let hatred or enmity of anyone lead you to the sin of deviating from justice. Be just, for that is nearer to righteousness. We pray tonight that our hearts not swerve from the truth, nor from being just in all of our affairs and dealings, and that we resolve to be steadfast in upholding equity, whether as a city government or as its citizenry. We pray that we actualize the concept that we were all created with distinctive differences and abilities, and that we are always striving to lift each other up so we may all contribute in our unique ways and beautiful ways. For indeed, as was also revealed in the Quran, same chapter, verse 48, that if God had so willed it, he would have made all of us one nation. Well, he didn't. Rather, he let each one of us to be that one nation by choice and not merely by birth. We pray that we learn that our history is not a constraint, but rather an opportunity to celebrate our collective triumphs as we rose above adversity together, and an opportunity to right the wrongs whenever we had fallen short. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and upon all prophets and messengers of God, taught that seven are shaded in God's shade on the day of judgment, when there will be no shade except his. The first amongst these seven is a just and equitable leader. We pray that the city's new leaders are blessed with the steady hand of justice and equanimity to realize their best intentions and to make better the lives of all of its citizens. May your efforts succeed and may you become an inspiration to everyone around you, both near and far. May the citizens of Stone Mountain and of our great state of Georgia and of our great nation be enveloped in God's peace, in God's blessings and endless protection. May this council always be guided by the spirit of community, by the spirit of justice, and by the spirit of love. Amen. Thank you, sir, so much for that wonderful prayer. Next, uh, Ms. Johnson, Shakara, Council Member Johnson, would you lead us with the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag. of the United States of America, of America. and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Next, we will have citizens' comments. And I ask that um, each person 